You might have used a program like wlogout before, but it does not quite perform the same function that hyper shutdown does. Basically, hyper shutdown is a graceful shutdown utility. So it opens a GUI and gracefully asks apps to exit and then quits Hyperland. Now this is something that other logout menus or utilities like even wlogout do not seem to have the ability to do because all they do is just manage to run a command as soon as a button is pressed like here. So you see this logout menu over here, this is wlogout as of configured to work. Okay, and as soon as I press this logout button, what's gonna happen is I will simply be logged out of Hyperland and nothing else. Okay, no apps are going to get the forewarning of please close yourself so that I may log out, none of that stuff, it's just gonna close. And with Hyper Shutdown on the other hand, it's going to open a GUI and ask the apps to exit before quitting. That also gives the apps a chance to save any data that they're currently working on, okay, before they finally end up logging out. It's a very useful thing for when exam for example, when you just end up accidentally pressing your logout key, okay, pressing the combination for your logout key, when you just meant to execute a combination for any app that you were working on, perhaps something like GIMP or Aiden Live, if you were editing videos or images. And trust me, I've been there more times than one, and it's not fun, especially when... <laughs> You're trying to edit a video or just trying to edit an image and then you ended up logging out instead of executing the appropriate key binding. Anyway, it's very simple set, simple to set up because there's not really much that goes into it. Okay, I will show you what it consists of right now. So hyper shut down, fire on it with help. This is what you're going to see. Now, if I were to run it without this dry run option, what's going to happen is it's going to make sure to save everything and it'll kick me out of the setup. And I don't want to be kicked out just yet because I'm explaining to you. So let's dry run this first so you have an idea of what this is supposed to look like. So when I press dry run, this is what it's going to show. Shutting down, waiting for your apps to exit. You can force quit, but that risks losing unsaved progress. Now you can also see a list of all the apps that are supposed to be here. Okay, if I actually hit force quit, it's seriously going to kick me out. But otherwise I can hit cancel. And if you notice something, you will notice that this is using, okay, this app is using a bunch of different colors that would not ordinarily be present unless you customize certain aspects of it. Now, the reason why this is, is because of Hyper Toolkit. I have discussed theming Hyper Toolkit and theming all the other apps that depend on it in the previous video. So if you want, you can check that out. But anyway, that is what you can see here. Now, due to the nature of hyper shutdown being hyper shutdown and perhaps not being actively worked on to the point where it's completely usable and bug free, mostly bug free like Hyperland, as you can see, I am currently left without an environment. So I can switch between workspaces, but a way bar and everything else seems to have died. Thankfully, that's the only thing that seems to have died, so I can easily restart it. I just have to start up the wallpaper daemon ampersand disown. Okay, that gives me the wallpaper and after that I just have to type in waybar ampersand is on and that's going to give me waybar as well. Beautiful. That's it. And that is most, if not all, of what goes into hyper shutdown. If you wanted to display a different menu, you can do that. And if you wanted to change the command, i.e. change the function of what it does, you can do that with post command and the template or whatever this dash T option that's going to display a different message that you specify. That's pretty much it. If you want to learn how to make a custom theme switcher like this one that goes with anything that you can possibly choose, any theme, I mean, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out Hyper Accelerator. It's a program where I teach you exactly how to make setups like these fully equipped with custom theme switchers, with logout menus like these, with lock screens and with notification daemons along with notifications like the ones that you saw over here and a hell of a lot more. So if you want to learn how to make something like this yourself, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out the program. In fact, let me just show you what it's like. So as you can see over here, there is quite a lot of content, over 10 hours of content in fact, and that shows right over here. So if you wanted to learn how to make this theme switcher, for example, I specifically have a video on that right here, which is over two hours long, took me over a week to make. But anyway, in this video, I cover what theme switchers are, 
the different kinds, how to set up wallpaper based theme switching and custom theme switching with these fantastic menus. And of course, with this being two hours long, two hours long, I explain the code part right over here as well. So in case you want something like this and you want to set up like this for yourself without copying, pasting somebody else's dot files and hoping for the best and hoping, crossing your fingers, hoping that the setup never breaks. If you don't want to do that, if you want to build your own setup and avoid all of the problems that go with just copying and pasting somebody else's dot files, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out the program. If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Stay rising. Mwah.